talk about i'm dread and welcome to the channel so there's another little secret with the ornate box and so i want to quickly show you how to do it so to do this we need to re-roll on adventure mode on yasha until we get the red throne if we don't get the red throne we need to re-roll and re-roll and re-roll boom so now i'm at the red throne we just want to run up to the throne room speak to the fake queen and go with the storyline where we help her otherwise you've just failed again right so i'm at the throne door and we just quickly want to knock on it and speak to her skip that Now you just literally want to do the talking so you don't fight and you help her. You need to do it to help otherwise this this is the story arc you gotta do. So now you've spoke to her, we gotta go and get to the widow's court. Right, so now we're heading out to the red throne, following the main doors with the exclamation marks, because we need to get to every door with the exclamation marks above them to get to the widow's court. That's as simple as it is on how to get there. So we're back at another door with the exclamation mark and that's all it is. Keep progressing, exclamation mark, progressing, progressing, progressing. This has put me into the twisted shanty. Now what we want to do is just run straight through until we get to the boss, get past him and then just move on. And you want to do this on easy mode because it's going to make life easier. You don't need to have it on hard apocalypse. You don't get any special rewards. You just want to run through, get to your thing and get out of there. So this is the end of the twisted chantry for me and you just get to the next world and you keep running and running and i'll keep saying it but it's going to be the easiest way for you to get to this court without getting lost is just to go every door where it has an exclamation mark on it so this should be the door before the widow's court and as you can see i've had that dungeon there where i killed myself to teleport back here i went to this dungeon over here, and as you can see, I haven't entered them because you just need this door. No other dungeons, just straight line, go, go, go. So I'm at the Widow's Court, and you're going to have to follow every step I do. And then there's going to be a few steps you're going to have to do without me. But I'm going to show you the main steps, and then you're going to have to search the area for the other parts. Because the key is going to be in a different location to everybody's. Okay, so I'll come down here. Step this left and follow it round. So as you can see there's the ornate lockbox. job done now we need to find the key it can spawn in several locations like i says and this is where it all depends where yours is there can be one down there which is not on mine it can be over there and i believe he's somewhere over this road side as well so the ornate key can lock spawn in this area you'll see a dead guard and he'll show up on your map that's the first area second area as you can see he's lying here on mine he can be just to the right side right here and there's a third location which I've noticed he spawns and I'll quickly show you once it the third location is just this area here and yeah that's it that's how you get the keys so once you've got the keys just get out of here now so there's one key, one box, and just kill yourself once you've done that. It'll take you to the door you've come through. Get to the crystal, and then just teleport straight to the red frown room. Right, so now we're here. What you want to do, <clears throat> there's three different ways to do this. The way we're going to do in this video is the way I want to show you. There's also a way where you open this lock box. You take the seed and you go to Ward 13 and plant it <clears throat> and you'll grow a tree. I've got that video on my channel. 
or you can give her the lockbox as is and she'll give you the seal of the empress which is this ring here so you can get the seal of the empress grow a tree so you have to re-roll each adventure mode to do this or the third way is we're going to open this box we're going to use this key now this fruit here this is what you take toward 13 and plant or you can give it to the queen and she'll give you a different item what we're about to discover so we're back at the throne room we're back talking to her and then you just put on fairly certain you'll be happy to see me give her the seed and there's the burden of the rebel nice easy job done and that ring there Reduces school cooldown, school skill cooldown by fifteen percent, but also reduces relic use by twenty five percent. So it it cools your skill down fast. So let's see what it says. That takes forty eight seconds on mine, and now it will take. I'd love to equip the other. Is it bugged? Click here to select. I don't know what was going on then. And that takes us up to 39. So as you can see, sliced it in half. Well, not in half. Let's not get carried away with ourselves. But it has come down. And yeah, it's just nice to have. So that's the ring. That's the guide. I hope it helped. Drop me a like, subscribe and comment. Peace.